Hi, my name is Ann Smith. I work with Project Bazia. We do a lot of different outreach programs with youth in the community. And today I'm here with uh, two young men from Portland High School who are new arrivals in Maine as of about, just about a year ago, right yeah, guys? Yeah. And um, when they came to Portland High School as students, and I'll introduce them in a moment, uh, they were completely unfamiliar with the United States. And one of the people they connected with was Glenn Nurbach, who runs the Portland Mentoring Alliance at Portland High School. And uh, in fact, last year, Glenn was flooded with people from um, Africa and the Middle East. Many, many immigrants came last year and, uh, as students. And uh, he needed a lot of mentors. And he couldn't find them, so he came to Project Bazia. And we started our program we had wanted to start for some time, we call it. Actually, we'll talk about that in a minute, but one member of the group, Daniel here, named the group, and they call it Bright Future. Um, as you can see, they're in uniform, and they'll tell you why that's so, but let me introduce each of my now friends. I feel like they're my sons. I walk down the street with them, and they are both twice my size. I feel so safe. I've got these big gentlemen in uniform guarding me. Um, the gentleman on the left is Stephen Iricosi. Uh, Stephen is from Burundi, yeah. and he is a senior now at Portland High School. And this is Daniel Semukanya, and he is from Rwanda, and he is also a senior at Portland High. And I know I'm going to cry when they graduate in June. Um, we're here primarily today to tell you about Bright Future because it's continuing this year. We have about uh, seven or eight new members and then of course the regular people come back this is not all of the group we didn't have room for everybody um, but I'm going to ask uh, Dan and Steve to tell you a little bit about some of their experiences in Bright Future last year and so I guess we could start with Dan uh, why don't you tell why uh, you know and tell us about the name what why did you feel that this was uh, a good name for our group uh, well uh I chose I chose the name Bright Future because, uh, uh, like they say, they like told us what they're gonna help us like uh, get more involved in activities here in America since we were new. So I took this like an opportunity to have a bright future here. Yeah, so that's why I I gave a, a, an opinion for the group to be called Bright Future, and it was accepted, and the group was called Bright Future. Yeah. And I think it's a good name because we do a lot of different things. Um, Bazia, whom some of you have seen in other videos, uh, is also from Africa and knows a lot about the institutions in the United States and feels that newcomers really need to get to know the United States in a lot of different ways. And uh, one way we do this is by introducing these people to um, uh, various institutions like law enforcement or the political system, and we'll talk about that in a moment. We also uh, go on trips to various work sites so that you can learn uh, about a career possibility should you decide you want to stay here. Um, after you graduate from high school, you might continue in school, and, and you might want to know, what is it like to be uh, a businessman, a banker, a doctor? Um, what is it like to live here in the United States? Um, Steve, uh, I think one of the first things we did, which was a lot of fun, uh, yeah. and I'm going to make a little joke. At yeah, the sorry. expense at the, you and your brother, who is almost your size, yeah. Ben, uh, they told me and during the first meeting that they were going to join the NBA. And I said, oh my goodness, how much experience <laughs> do you have playing basketball? And they said, none. They had never played. Uh -huh. So I had to find someone to teach them. So. Uh, Steve, tell us a little bit about how you learned to play, what it was like learning to play basketball at age, what, 17? No, 18. 18 mm -hmm. at USM. Yeah, that was like a good experience because, uh, first of all, basketball wasn't like my first sport, like it wasn't my favorite sport before. But when I came here and then I like see every kid, like all the people like here like to play basketball, I was like, yeah, let me just try it. Yeah. And then it was fun. Yeah, we uh, we have like coach uh, me, uh, me uh, Mr. Davis and Coach Keith. Yeah, yeah. He kinda, yeah. He USM kinda, was wonderful to you guys. Yeah, they they so, really yeah, were they supportive. So yeah, and they were really good. I wasn't. I was. I really sucked like in dribbling and all this stuff and shooting like in lay, layup, alley uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> layup and alley for the stuff. Yeah, 
and we learned we were like uh, 50 pe 50 kids 50 yeah. yeah 50 it was kind of fun we play some games with like all the people like people who have like a great experience like who know how to play basketball and they like show us like how some moves mm -hmm. and it was really fun, yeah. Yeah, and I used to drive them over there, and sometimes I'd sit and watch them. And I have to say, the first couple lessons, you guys must have had sore backs. Yeah. Because learning to dribble when you are fully grown yeah, you means that play. you are dribbling like, like this because yeah, like you wanted to control yeah. the ball. Yeah. And I, I used to watch your brother. He would be bent completely over <laughs> and dribbling, and I'd think, oh my gosh, she is going to be so sore tomorrow <laughs> running up and down the court. Yeah. But it was, was fun. Yeah, yeah. It was fun. Are you going to try out for the yeah. team this yes. year yeah. at, yeah. at Portland gonna High? Try, yeah. yeah, I'm yeah. going to try I'm not going to yeah. do it. You're not going to do it? Nah, I'm not good enough. Aw, <laughs> yeah. they'll be so modest. Nah, it's good, but I play football, so it's fine. All right, yeah. we'll talk about that maybe in a minute, too. Yeah. Um, at the end of the year, we talked to all the people in the group what they liked and what they felt was worth doing. And uh, I, I guess I was very surprised, pleasantly surprised, when I took the survey. Um, one of the things we did was uh, these gentlemen, obviously, are big, strong boys. And so they helped a organization here in town called Furniture Friends. Mm -hmm. um, we'd go out to breakfast on a Saturday morning, and then they would get in a truck with other people and move furniture into the houses of people who didn't have good furniture, donated furniture. Mm. Um, how, what was that like, Dan? Well, well I like that because I, I got to help people because I, I like to help people. So when I get the opportunity to work with the furniture friends down in Westbrook, we used to go down there uh, like every Saturday, help them pack trucks and we take furniture down to the families needy families that they were in need of furniture so we help moving the furniture in the house and out people are giving out furniture so I I really did that and I'm still willing to do it when I have time some Saturdays so it was a like a I like that because I used to help people and it's good yeah. I, I like that yeah and, and and when I asked that in the question in the survey I was surprised every single person in the group said that that was one of the most meaningful things yeah. they did plus you made some wonderful friends yeah. Yeah. some contacts with some really interesting people from all over the greater Portland area and and, and furniture friends doesn't help uh, only African or Middle Eastern refugees it helps uh, all kinds of people in need and it's a very good organization we like to give a plug for the other nonprofits in town who are, are getting people to work together and help each other. Um, and then in January, you guys all met a gentleman named Ralph Carmona. Mm -hmm. Probably remember Ralph. Ralph is hard to forget. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he said that you should definitely go to Augusta yeah. and experience what the government looks like up there. So what, what was that like, Steve? Uh, we, were, we went to the State House uh, to Augusta. Uh, they were like bowling laws about different stuff, and it was fun. We went there. It was like interesting, like because we met we met like a lot of people, like really important person, and it was fun. And then I remember during the vo when they were voting, uh, the person who was like like uh, telling every like the uh, moderator, the mm -hmm. moderator, yeah. Mm -hmm. He uh, he said like uh, like in the middle of the com of the voting, he said like oh we have here some student from Poland High School. So, and they, they're from Burundi, they came here to learn everything, like our laws, like how, it's, how it's things goes here. So I would like everyone here to give some applause, like give them applause. And they all stood up and then they applause. That was really fun. Uh, <laughs> like it was like really deep, yeah, I really liked that. You moment. felt like you were very welcome yeah. here. Yeah. It yeah. was really nice, yeah. yeah. And, and, and then you also met Justin Alphonse. Yeah, we met oh, the Who's here from Portland and uh, uh, there are some pictures that we're going to, you know, put in this uh, in this interview. Yeah. Um, and I, this one in particular, I would love to see that one in there too. Um, and finally, I think the climax of the year was uh, why you are both sitting here in uniform. And this yeah. started when was it? Uh, maybe April. We had uh, uh, Sheriff Joyce yeah. and uh, Deputy Joe Schnapp. Mm -hmm. and some other people from the Cumberland County uh, uh, Sheriff's Department 
come to the high school and we talked about the laws and we talked about the difference between sheriff and police and state police and all that. And, uh, and Sheriff Joyce kind of jumped on you guys. Uh. And they said, wow, we need your help because they have a cadet program. Yeah. And uh, uh, Steve, uh, uh, oh no, sorry, Dan. You want to tell us a little bit about what that was like, what that involved, becoming an yeah. uh, assistant deputy sheriff or yeah. a cadet? Yeah. yeah, so we, like Anne mentioned, we, uh, we went to the cadet program. Uh, it's one week long, so you just wake up and have f physical pra like exercises, and then we go into classes to have uh, classes about law enforcement and how it's how it's done and the laws here in Maine and mostly in Cumberland County. Uh, so it, we we like went to the we went to the academy and it was it was kind of hard but it was fun. We we got to have like new friends from Scarborough, uh, Saco, and Wyndham. Yeah, so we, we were like one family. We we learned a lot. And this was where? What campus? St. Yeah. Joe's? Uh, St. Joe's of College. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, which is a nice small campus, so yeah. there wasn't a lot of stuff yeah. going on. Yeah, so we learned a lot about law enforcement. Yeah. And, and that's not over. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah, I remember we went to the boating stuff. We went to, the, yeah. like, to the... Uh, yeah, we went in a yeah. boat. Yeah, the and boat. All right, now yeah. I have to ask you, were you nervous? Because I yeah. know Steve yeah, does not know how to swim, <laughs> yeah. and he worries about the water. Yeah, I was, like, really kind of... He was, like, nervous before, but after he kind of made me comfortable, yeah. and I was, like, yeah, it was nice. Did you wear a life uh, fit? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That, it was nice. And we do we did the traffic load. Yeah, we did the traffic, traffic stop. Uh -huh. stop sign. Yeah. It was it was really helpful, and yeah. like like she said, we we are still like going to the meetings because we have a meetings like every every Twice other Wednesday month, yeah. we have meetings uh, down uh, up in Standish, so we go there and like mm -hmm. plan stuff for the month and. And actually, I think you missed one opportunity to direct traffic was a football game not too long ago. Yeah. Yeah. But you were playing football. We were playing yeah. other games. And, uh, but later this year, I'm sure they will say, get your uniforms ready. Uh, you're going to direct traffic at some event. Yeah. And, uh, and, and that's it. your presence will be greatly appreciated. Um, I, I guess I have one kind of unplanned question. It's fine. Yeah, well, that's all right. Good. Uh, what would you say to somebody who was new coming into Portland High School and they said, what's this bright future? Would you say you should go? Um, <coughs> I would tell them it's a really good experience. They have to try. They, it's like they, we have a, like, a lot of opportunities and we want to, have, like, to be a big family. It's something if you're new and you're kind of lost and you want to like, know everything, we kind of here to help you, to show you, give you direction, direction, everything. Like, yeah. Well, I'm going to ask you to talk about the man who's not in this room, but who's a big part of Bright Future, uh, Bazia. Yeah. Tell me something Bazia taught you last year, because I know that's his whole goal in life, is to help young people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Bazia is a good is a good man, cause he he like usually advises us like every time we 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 meet or every time we gather together. He like wants to give us advices about like how how to behave how to how to like walk in this country because it's it's not easy as we all think so he likes to advise us how to like live here and i think that's 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 good because it helps do you remember the first meeting when he talked about looking in the eyes he said, he said, one thing you have to learn, a lot of you, the, when you walked, I will tell you, there's a big change yeah. since you walked in a year ago. Yeah. You were all looking at your shoes most of the yeah. time. <laughs> and he said, yeah. look up. He said, in this country, looking at a person's face is yeah. respect. Yes. It's opposite, right? In Africa, yeah, it's opposite, you, yeah. when someone's older than you, don't a person of respect, yeah, you're not supposed contact, to stare I, at I them contact, like that. No. But here, it's uh, every culture is different. Yes, everybody thinks a little differently about what is appropriate. And I think in this country, if you don't look someone in the face, they think you are hiding. Yeah. Um, so. 
What about you? What would you say about Bright Future? Would you would you urge someone to come and join? And uh, yes, do you think the group is welcoming? I think so. Yeah, I think it's welcoming because, like Stephen said, we. I mean, I know now. Now I know some stuff about Portland, Maine, so I can I can help you, or maybe uh, I can tell Anne Smith to help you more because she's she's been here more than me. Yeah, a few uh, yeah, more years. Yeah, a few more years before <laughs> me. So, all <laughs> Bazia. So I think this program like really helped me, and I and I believe it can help some other people too. So. And the birthday parties were fun. Yeah, too. we had fun. Yeah. yeah, we had some fun. Yeah. <laughs> We did what? a lot of eating. Yeah, oh. I uh, remember the cake. Well, um, if, you, uh, if you are new to the community and you attend Portland High School, or even if you don't attend Portland High School, but you attend one of the other high schools and you would like to attend a meeting, um, you can contact Project Bazia. That's www.projectbazia.com. Uh, uh, that's our website. Or you can call me, and my number is 699-9649. Or you can talk to Glenn Nurbach. His name, I think, will be on this program, too. And he's at Portland High School. Any one of these uh, contacts could connect you with Bright Future. Uh, and Bright Future's blog will also be up. And we're adding more to that. Maybe we should put some more contact information very clear. Mm -hmm. uh, most of our meetings are Monday afternoons. But sometimes, like yesterday, we took the people who are new mm -hmm. to the Cumberland County Sheriff's Office, and they got to tour the jail and, and meet all the people that you worked with last year. Mm -hmm. So um, thank you very much for helping thank me. And I must tell you, uh, really, uh, it was a wonderful experience to getting to know you. And I am going to cry at your graduation. <laughs> thank mm. you.